Good morning, George Mason University freshwater ecosystem students. Today uh, we're going to show you a, a video of just a show and tell of all the equipment that you're going to be using in the field uh, or that you would have been using in the field if we weren't doing a virtual lab. My name is Suzanne Dean. I will be your instructor for this semester and Stephanie Schmidt will be our graduate TA. You'll her at some point in this video. <laughs> She's filming right now though. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how to label collection bottles. In this class, we're going to be collecting uh, water, uh, organisms, and soil, and plants. And so we need to have a way of going into the field and collecting samples of, of those types of um, data and bringing them back to the lab for processing or recording things on data sheets, which we do take to the field. So I'm gonna show you a couple bottles here. We use two liter uh, bottles and one liter bottles for collection of water and, or and benthic organisms. And we filter from these bottles into 250 milliliter bottles for water. So it's very important that you label properly because an unlabeled bottle is an unknown bottle and it happens to the best researchers so the best way to do this is to label before you go out into the field i can tell you from experience that taking a set of bags out into the wetland and having to wet label them for soil samples while i'm in the wetland is not a good idea that you really need to pre-do it so to properly label uh, in our case, we want to specify the class, which is 350, and then we want to specify the location. So we're going to be going to Burke Lake first. I don't have to spell Burke Lake out, but I'm just putting BL for Burke Lake. And then the date we're going to Burke Lake is for September, for example. So just put that on there, or you can do a, a four slash um, nine or nine four. And then you want to put the type of sample. So in this case, I'm going to say that this is a, a water sample. And at Burke Lake, we sample on the surface and at multiple depths. So I want to put the location to surface. Okay, so now I have very important and necessary information that you will need on most uh, collection devices or bottles. So I've got the name of the class, or the number of the class, the date, the location, the type of sample, and where it was collected at. So I have to do that in some way for every bottle. Okay, one of the other things that we do is we filter water samples at the sites. And so in order to filter, we use a microfiber filter to filter water. And that filter is going to capture sediment and algae and all sorts of other things. And so what we do is we pre-weigh the filter in a foil uh, burrito. So I put the filter in foil. Let's see better. Fold it over. And I weigh this, get an accurate weight, and record it. But in labeling these, I use a pencil because I don't want to perforate the foil or the filter. And I just put a one. I usually go simple on these and do just number them one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Okay, we use plastic bags for collecting soil. And so the way that we set things up in the wetland is with transects. So I start with just the transect number and then the sample number. Just in case somebody else wants my soil, then I'm going to put 350 on the bag. So transect one, and then the sample number, and it'll usually be a number from one to 15. 
Okay, finally, the last type of sample that we need to bring back to the lab is uh, above ground biomass. <laughs> and so I pre-weigh the bag, and then I label the bag with the transect number, again, and the sample number. So I use pencil for these bags uh, because if they, they get wet, uh, Sharpies have a way of fading. And so I've got a pre-weighed bag because I can, I'm going to subtract that from the total weight of the bag after this, the uh, sample has dried, and this is a vegetative sample, the transect and the sample number.